Today I want to show you a really simple, healthy way of making fried potatoes. No more deep frying in oil. And we're going to make a really simple, creamy, plant-based sauce to go on top. This is our patatas bravas. Here we go. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. Most people don't realize what an impact food has on our bodies. When you eat healthy food, you live longer and you live better. And that's what we do here. We've taken out the animal products, we don't cook with oil, and this recipe has white potatoes. Can you believe it? The evil carb white potatoes. And today I'm showing you a method of cooking them up like deep fried potatoes, but they're actually healthy. We're gonna cook these potatoes up, we're gonna throw them in the air fryer, and then we're gonna make this really healthy sauce, which is delicious. As you can see, it's got lots of veggies, a little bit of tofu to make it creamy. I think you're gonna I love it. Let's get right to it, Reebs. We've got some potatoes to peel and chop. What do you say? We're gonna start with just a few russet potatoes. I've got like seven medium potatoes, whatever. I have just scrubbed them in the sink. I didn't bother peeling them. And now I'm just gonna chop them into some bite-sized pieces. You can pick whatever size of potato you want, throw them in the pot, add some water. We're gonna boil them for maybe eight to 10 minutes just until they're tender, depending on the size of the potato that you chopped up. And then just strain out the water and throw them in a mixing bowl. I'm gonna need that monster spoon because next we've got these potatoes here. We've gotta spice them up, not spice them up, flavor them up. With spice with spices. We've got some onion powder. I'm gonna sprinkle these on my hot potatoes. Garlic powder, mm-hmm. Sprinkle it in, sprinkle it in. And some paprika. I use the spicy paprika. You don't have to, you can use whatever you want. You can use one of our beautiful Well Your World spice blends if you want for this. Whatever you like, put it on those potatoes and just give it a nice toss in. Still, the way you were holding that weapon and the garlic powder, I thought you were fighting off a monster. <laughs> Vampire potatoes. Now look at them, they're coated with lots of flavor. We're gonna dump them right on the air fryer basket like that. Spread them all out. They are hot, be careful. And now we're gonna give them the second step. We're gonna air fry them and they're gonna come out nice and crispy. Let's get them in. You've probably seen us do another method of cooking potatoes, which is really effective, and that's that we'll cook the potatoes like this, but then refrigerate them overnight, let them cool, and then air fry them. That's a great method if you've got a night to think of that, but this works really well too. They're already hot, they're cooked, the air fryer is gonna pull some of the water out and essentially make them a lot like fried potatoes. You'll see. Oh, didn't <laughs> see you there. Check out right here if you wanna see that overnight method of the potato cooking as well. We've gotta make a sauce, y'all, and this is a simple sauce. I am going to actually chop these right into the pan. Dylan, chop right into the pan? Chop right in the pan. You don't need to heat that pan up. Let's go. I am going to chop up one red bell pepper. You don't have to dice it up very small. A green bell pepper as well. Throw it into the pan. I've got a couple Roma tomatoes. We're gonna dice those up too. We're gonna blend this sauce, so you don't have to worry about cutting anything too small. Now we've got an onion, a yellow onion. Throw that in the pan. and. Finally, we've got a few cloves of garlic. I'll just smash these with my rock to get the skins off and we'll chop them a little bit and throw them in the pan. Let's get to the stove, shall we? We're just gonna do a little sauteing. I usually put my stove pretty high for the saute step. We're gonna be stirring it constantly, so no big deal. As it heats up, I'll just add a little bit of water or veggie stock. I love to cook with a little bit of veggie stock just to keep it from sticking. No big deal. No oil. We don't cook with the oil or those things. It's just not necessary. We'll get lots of flavor here. Don't worry, we don't need the oil. I can't tell you much about potatoes bravas, except that they are normally not healthy. It's deep fried potatoes, a creamy sauce with lots of fat. We aren't doing that. We're just making it healthy, baby, and it still tastes great. Let's add some flavor to this. I'm gonna use some black pepper, sprinkle that in there, some chipotle powder, and some paprika. It's that simple. We don't have to do anything fancy here. It's starting to dry out a little, so I'll just add another splash. Probably do like two or three rounds of adding a little bit of veggie stock, and then we'll blend it. That's plenty. Oh, it smells so good. All right, there's a little bit of liquid left, but that's okay. We're gonna blend it up into a sauce so it doesn't have to be totally dried out. Let's get to it. As you can imagine, we're going from here to here. I'm just going to monster spoon this into the blender so I don't make a huge mess. I'll probably still make a huge mess, don't worry. It's traditionally a creamy sauce, so we gotta put something in here. You could do a handful of like white beans to make it creamy if you wanna keep it really low calorie. You could throw in a handful of cashews if you wanna make it higher calorie. But if you want it somewhere in the middle, use tofu. We're gonna try this with tofu. I'm gonna use like a quarter of this block of tofu. Don't worry, you don't have to be that exact. Get it in there, the tofu will make it nice and creamy. I also need to add a little bit of acid. I like the flavor of white vinegar for this. That should be plenty. Specifically Trader Giatti's. Giatti's. Giatto's. Uh oh, my it's bad. Giatto's. Let's get to the blending, shall we? Oh. I've just blended it for about 30 seconds. Let's have a little taste. 
Oh, the flavor is so good, but it is a little too watery. I was wrong what I said on the stove. I wanted it to dry right out. Now it's just a little too watery, so I'm gonna throw it into a pan. We'll just simmer it on low, and it'll get nice and thick, and then by the time our potatoes are ready, we'll be rocking ready to go. Our potatoes are almost done, and we can put this together, but we need a little something green to top it. So I'm just going to chop some flat leaf parsley, and you're gonna love it, sprinkled on top of these patatas bravas. What do you say? Sounds good. All right. Oh, look at these beautiful potatoes. No deep frying necessary. I did like 28 minutes, 400 degrees, air fried. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at this beautiful sauce. I've just thickened it up a little bit. Nothing too dramatic. It's just a little bit thicker. A few minutes simmering on the stove. Let's make some patatas bravas. Oh, they're so nice and crunchy. Looks like an expensive appetizer. It is an expensive appetizer, but not expensive. It's very cheap. Very, very cheap to make this at home. Now you could toss it in the sauce or you could just top the potatoes with some sauce like that. And then now let's make it dance. We gotta get a little bit of that green beauty on top. That is hot and so, so good. I gotta get one more bite in. How are the potatoes? The potatoes are excellent. They're not like crispy crunchy. You don't want them like that overcooked. They're soft, but they've got a nice crispiness on the outside and the sauce is so good. Can you imagine the original sauce has like mayonnaise in it and oil and junk like that? This is a healthy, creamy, delicious sauce with real food ingredients inside and you can eat this every day and feel great. A great sauce makes eating this way so easy because you can put it on anything. All your starches, beans, rice, whatever. You can put this on a salad. It's delicious. Reeves, come over here and taste these patatas bravas. You know me. I like it saucy. Oh, she's dressed Not even it. gonna try it before mm -hmm. I sauce it up first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's gonna burn. That's comfort food right there. It is so delicious. Did you like the sauce even more once I thickened it up? Yeah. It brings out the flavor even better and it coats the potatoes nicer. It's a delicious, creamy sauce. Papas fritas con un salsa deliciosa. <laughs> <laughs> Try these papas today. You're gonna love them. This air fry method is awesome. The sauce is delicious. The blog post right down below has the full recipe that Reeves made you. Click right here for more videos like this one, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.